Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Senior Solutions Engineer with Adobe, and I am very excited about InDesign CS5. The more I play with InDesign CS5, the more I'm enjoying its multimedia features. And if you're a multimedia teacher in K-12 or higher education or an animation teacher, you might want to consider adding InDesign to your toolbox of multimedia tools. As you can see, when I start off InDesign, and by the way, InDesign is a traditional page layout program, but with CS5, it's a full-blown multimedia tool. You can see I'm going to start off by creating a new document. From my new document panel, I'm going to make this a document for the web. So we're going to do 640 by 480 and click OK, and it's going to go ahead and open that up. Now what this tutorial is going to cover is creating animation to a path. So you can animate objects uh, simply by drawing out a path and using some of the new animation tools inside of InDesign. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start off by creating a circle. So I'm going to come over here. You can either use one of the frame tools or one of the um, rectangular or shape tools here. We'll just do an ellipse. Put down an ellipse. Hold down your shift key if you wish to constrain that to a perfect circle. I'm going to come up to my options panel here up at the top. Go ahead and apply a black fill to that. So here we have this object and we want to animate this object to a path. And this is how easy it is inside InDesign to do this. I'm going to go get my pencil tool. And from my pencil tool, I'm going to just hit the D key on my keyboard to convert the stroke and fill to its default. And you can see when I did that, I accidentally changed the oval or the circle by doing that as well. So I'm going to go back up and reapply the fill. So what I want to do first is deselect that circle by clicking off of it. Select our pencil tool. Hit that D key to return the uh, fill to zero and the stroke to its default settings of black. I'm just going to take my pencil and drag out a path. You can see I'm going to just kind of randomly drag that path out. So now we have a path and an object. And to take these two objects and attach them so that InDesign knows that you wish to create a path animation, you select your black uh, selection tool, your black arrow tool there. You drag a box so it touches both the objects, so they're both selected. And let me show you that again. I'm just going to kind of make sure that both of the objects are selected. I'm going to go to and change my workspace. Perhaps yours says Essentials up at the top. I'm going to change mine to the interactive tools. I'm going to choose interactive. You can see down, down below here we have uh, an animation section. And from our animation section, I'm going to use the drop down tools, the panel drop down tools up at the top. And I'm going to choose convert to motion path. That's it. That's all we had to do to create and animate an object to the path. So from this point, if I want to preview it, I'm going to come down to my preview panel. And you may have to adjust the preview panel. Oftentimes it opens up kind of small. And uh, this is a new feature in InDesign CS5 as well, so that you get this great little Swift Previewer built right into the interface. I'm going to click on the little play button here, and there you can see our animation. If I click on the play button again, you get another preview. That's, uh, that's great. It's a little bit fast, so I might want to work on the timing. So I'm going to come down, or the speed of that object, I'm going to come down to uh, the animation layer. You can see the duration's set to only last a second. And uh, we wish that to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to maybe set that up to last for uh, three or four seconds. And you can type, uh, type in the numeric value if you wish. And maybe we want it to loop. So I'm going to click on the loop checkbox. Uh, we have some speed uh, settings as well uh, to apply some physics. Perhaps we want it to ease in or ease out or ease in and out. Let's go ahead and try that out and go ahead and preview it. So you can either click the preview button from here or straight from the animation panel. There's a small little preview button located in the lower corner of it. And there we've just slowed down the animation and pro pro provided some physics, some ease in, ease in and ease out settings to our animation. So from this point, you know, if I was a science teacher or a physics teacher, there's all kinds of neat things that you could use the animation tool inside of InDesign to, uh, to create simulations of or demonstrations of. In this case, uh, I'll go ahead and show you one that's been finished. And it's just a simple animation. 
uh, you can see here we have some water molecules and I'm going to create some path animation or I've already created some animation inside InDesign to to demonstrate the topic of diffusion. So I'm going to choose play, play animation, a little text box that comes down and and, uh, and then you get to see the animation of diffusion. So I'll replay the animation. You can see diffusion is the spreading of molecules from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration as you can see by the animation. And I animated those molecules to a path the exact same way I just showed you. So InDesign has some really powerful multimedia and animation interactive tools. The project I just showed you was completely built inside of InDesign.